Hello everyone, this is Evangelos Nudge, and it's about time that I would record a video. Seriously, I want to do this right now. I don't know why, but I just really want to record a video right now. And the reason is, well, iOS 9. Um, that's not the reason of the video, but I'm just going to go off into a little tangent here. iOS 9, cool. You know, it works. I, I have it on my iPhone and my iPad. I'm using Siri voices, but the spotlight works. Everything works the way it's supposed to. Except there are a few things that don't on Daniel's side. Actually, it's only one thing. It's because, or maybe because of iOS 9.1, Beta 1. And I don't have that. I only have the public version of 9.0 when I haven't installed 9.01 yet. On anything and I don't think I will though I mean you know um, anyway um, he can't record videos at all on nothing whenever he plays them back on voice plus it doesn't play not even on a voice memo nothing the record button in the camera is dimmed the captures record button is probably dimmed as well YouTube capture app so yeah I just wanted to make a little update and in the meantime, I'm just going to go play some jam on low volume while I can talk. So, I, um, my new jam is a little high pitched. Anyway, um, this is going to be a video where I'm just going to talk a lot. I pitch. So, um, let's start. I want to talk about, um, some games, because I want one in particular. Um, there's been a lot of debates yesterday. There was a lot of things that my family, uh, didn't want me to get, like a loops or, um, or, uh, it was something else. It was, um, I, they thought, the little loops was just not good, and I suggested a Bop It Smash 2, and... No, it's not a Bop It Smash number 2, it's Bop It Smash space T-O-O, -O, okay? Do not make jokes of it. Um, yeah, I suggested the Bop It Smash, and I was like, they were like, no. Again, I can understand that part, because, I mean, I'm good at the Bop It, Bop it Smash app for the iPhone, but that doesn't, I, I, I mean, iPad or whatever. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I will be good on the other kind of game version. Um, but I may be, well, we might have to see, but I'll never do that again, because Bob it Smash is not sold anymore. Well, maybe it is. You can find a bunch of stuff on eBay, so whatever. Or Amazon.com. Um, my main interest, okay, this is an awesome thing. Seriously. Um, it's called... Hyper Dash. I just found a game. I, I just found out about a game called Hyper Dash yesterday. And basically, um, it's made by a Wild Planet, which I only heard of because of Hyper Blast, which is another game which I have no idea what you do in it. I, basically, I can't really describe it because I haven't ever felt it. I just heard videos and uh, read instructions on the internet, but basically what I got out of this is you have five um, multicolored and numbered targets that are kind of like the Hyperslide's discs, if you know what I mean. And notice that Hyperslide was made by Hasbro, and they still have the word Hyper, and the Hyper Dash has discs, and the Hyper ba Blast has balls. Um, everything you have to put things in it, which kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, the everything that starts with that name hyper. Anyway, um, so you um, so it gives you first. Well, there are four levels. Each level has four sections, and each section has a certain amount of commands. There's no time limit. I'm not kidding. None. Um, it will tell you a color or whatever. First on level one is going to be colors like green, and then you have to, I think, 
put this stick that's on the disc inside and uh, it will register and give you new, new things like orange and you have to do this a certain amount of times on level two it starts getting even more complicated and here it gives you double strike which means you have to do it twice and when you do it once it just gives you a beat before um, without giving you a laser sound and it's got music as well you can check it out uh, check the music out and whatever you want if you just type in me playing hyper dash it's gonna work anyway um after level two, oh wait i forgot there's reverse i don't really know what reverse does i think you have to do it do the same thing i don't know about that one um and on level three it starts doing numbers and triple strikes and copy strikes uh copy strike is like six minus two it's like brain bash okay let's do double time and then i'll continue on with um rhythm jam on dance I don't think I'm gonna make it full. I don't really. I don't think I'm gonna beat this full time, but I may. Come on, give me a different response for light slide, please. I want something else than... Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, not this again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're getting some variety. Oh my god. Okay. Is this gonna work or not? Oh my. No! Oh my god, here we go. This is amazingly fast. I can't talk normally without. Ah! No, of course not. I'm going off. And I got a high score, which makes no sense because I beat this multiple times. Whatever. Whatever. I was 19 points away, I think. <sighs> okay. I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Anyway. Um, so I was saying level 3. And level 4, the only addition here, is you get bonus strike. Which, I have no idea how you do. It's, I think it's like you do the same thing as, as, um, you previously did, I don't know, but it can make you, um, it will add a certain amount of actions, or, um, uh, remove a certain amount of actions, or, um, make it, make the music speed up or slow down, which means it only goes up to the, um, to the time counter, so I think, like, whenever it's, it speeds up, it, like one second to the timer itself is more than a half a second it just depends on how much it goes up sometimes it goes more up than other times i think i, I like doing the vision the, 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 the rhythm jam um stuff while singing i don't like this what the? You know what? I don't care. I'm going to go, um, do something else. I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to go play some Bop and Beats Classic, because I haven't done that in a very long time. if my bop and beats is uh, running low on batteries i don't think it is i don't care i'm just gonna go play it <laughs>
So, yeah, that's basically all for Hyperdash. Oh, wait, I forgot. There are four games. Um, you can have, um, up to four players, I think. And there's Hyperdash, there's Micro Dash. Why is it called Micro? I have no idea. But it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like, um, memory. It's like add one. And at a certain point, it just stops, and then it turns to the main menu without even giving you anything. I don't know if that's true or not, or was that person just so fast that I didn't hear it. I'm gonna see if I can get one. Oh my god. Wrong way. I don't care. If I go over there, it's not gonna work. So let me say something right now. Screw you! Flip it. Shut it down. I like that. No bother. That's weird. Anyway, um, there's Team Dash and Team Micro Dash. I don't really know what that does. I don't really understand it. Anyway, I really want to get my hands on this game because it's the first of its kind. It's a kind of rare, like, thing. Not as rare as the super click it or the zing it, mind you. But it is, um, a very cool game in a way. As cool as a hyper slide, maybe even cooler, because it gives you a lot of other stuff, especially on level 4. You know what I mean? There we go. Okay, it's basically off of Hyper Dash, and um, we were always also thinking of um, me getting a Groove It, because why not? A Groove It is another Hasbro game, if you don't know. Um, it's made in 2003, which is the year that I'm born in, so that's cool. Um, it's got a bunch of hand sensors, kind of like the loops, where you don't even touch the game itself. Um, when it gives you commands, it just, you gotta make a series of hand movements. And I really gotta get help here from Daniel or someone else, but if I do get it, well, that's gonna be cool. But I think I'm better off, um, I think I'm gonna get the Hyper Dash instead of the but, but I don't know. I don't know why no one likes my, uh, loops suggestion. Oh my god, my bucket button got stuck. That makes no sense. Or, it makes sense. It makes flippin' sense! <laughs> Whatever. Um, I like it. Oh my god, five scratches in a row. That's not supposed to happen, is it? I remember when I got a flip it and a, and a repeat. Anyway, um, I don't know why people don't like, I mean, my family doesn't like the loops. I mean, I can still learn where the notes are and play music studio and music college and all that stuff. Whatever. My main point of the loops is because, is that, it's not because, it's that it has um, a sort of MIDI, like it generates every single note with a, with a sampling pitch, changing the pitch of one sound, instead of making actual sound loops like the loop with the loop shaker with the tops. And even the loops M3 does that. 
it scratch it it has almost the same Repeat. sound engine spin it and uh spin it one other Reaver. reason is that i know of the menu music Repeat. whatever i like doing it lights only this is going to be kind of hard because it starts on levels about the brain warp and brain shift. I don't think I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get one of those. Um but I may it's, it's it seems harder than the hyper dash to me. Oh no, not this again. I don't care. At least I can say this. Oh sometimes I can feel it. Oh my god, my vomit button is stuck! Now it's not. I had to press it again. Oh, that was weird. It sometimes gets stuck. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Ew. So, what is it? Twit, 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 twist. I like that. Okay. I should also mention that, you know what it says? You know what it actually says? What the Smash song says? Repeatedly? Well, we're gonna find out right now. Cause I know the answer. So if you want to learn from this video, you've learned Hyper Dash. Now you can learn what it says, what this new song actually says in the back of the book and got unstuck in it. It says this. Catch the light. Yep, it says catch the light. You know what this makes this you know what makes sense here? Hasbro released a puppet smash and they made a commercial for this with a bunch of Buddy Rubino comments edited and uh, using the Smash song. And now they're using Smash again, which means they are editing a commercial song that's quite cool, and I think it's cool. Um, so they're editing something that has been produced for them. Well, why else would it say catch the light if you can't catch the light by smashing it, you know what I mean? Because it, the commercial actually says, I mean, the Buddy Rubino made, like, Hasbro made Buddy Rubino comments say, catch the light. In sync to that music. And we're already done, I think. That was a fun ride, wasn't it? Oh, stuck again. I just made it move. Oh, yay! I can listen to this again. One, two, three, and... Master DJ in the club! High, High score! 250! Oh, 50. Whatever. 250, 250. Um, not very Pop good. To start. I really want to do something else, but I don't know what that is. I'm out. Whatever. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go listen to some more Smash. Pop it classic. In remix. No. So I'm going to do uh, the high score high glitch. Score. Classic. This is not a glitch. 250 DJ. And now it's going to give me Smash. 
Last time you'll hear Catch a Light. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to make some more videos soon. This has been Animal Goodbye.